do you guys uh, remember where we left off? Yeah, although I suddenly Sean realized I better breakfast. get my I better get my character sheet or else I'm going to be sad. Yes. Um, uh, let me just uh, go over a recap, just to, uh, hit all the little points so everyone knows. Um, uh, um, basically, you guys were being um, hunted by uh, a group of uh, Argentinians who were sent here to look for you guys. But through your guys' uh, uh, footwork and stuff, you guys think you found them before they found you and know that they usually meet at the uh, Magic Circuit, which is this uh, water fountain, right? um, this lit water fountain uh, um, in Lima. We are all eager to visit, actually. Yes. Um, uh, A group of Black October members uh, um, went and met one of their uh, former compatriots. Um, uh, Yep, and... uh, Wanted him to go on a mission with them in about a week. Um, the next day, you guys were supposed to go down and meet with, um, you know, the so-called, uh, 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 what is it, Peruvian uh, uh, government uh, about uh, what you guys found inside the, uh, the pit. Um, but um, that's where we had left it. With you guys, I believe, uh, getting ready to go down to the circuit, the magic circuit, before you guys had to go to your meeting tomorrow. So you guys were going to try and cram this all in. Um, you know, the odd death trap or time dilation effect or, you know, who knows right. <laughs> what may come our way between now and tomorrow morning. But That's right. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll just be a, a standard Sunday, Sunday evening. Mm-hmm. Um, so... With that in mind, was there anything that you guys uh, 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 wanted to say, do, um, retcon in, anything like that? Mm. Oh, and also, too, I wanted to um, also say, like, we've been a little loosey-goosey, which, um, Ron, you had uh, talked about with, like, the hero points. Um, And... uh, you guys are able at power level three or ability level three to spend um, three uh, hero points per round total. Um, yeah, but so, we also had a big know, old bank, so we could do that a bunch of times. Right, but per round actually limits how many you guys can spend, which kind of... Um, upper roll, so per round. Right, yeah. so like if you spent them to upper roll, you can't spend them to negate damage. You, you can In spend that particular three. round, yeah. Okay. Right. So it, it limits uh, how much you can spend. Now, the higher ability level you are, the more you can spend per round. So if you're ability level five, you can spend five per round uh, in any order in which you choose. But uh, ability level three, you got three points that you can spend per round. Um, and da 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 da. All right. So where do you guys want to begin? Well, is there anything you need to do, Ron, with your your make a wish kids? Um, we've got a little while to <laughs> we've we've got a little while to go, um, and I uh, have have begged off another night of revels because we have to go do a thing. Um, now, I'm not sure whether I want to involve them in our business here. Um, half of me says that. It's stupid not to have a couple, three hyperactive teen supers to come and help us if we really need it. But on the other hand, they're they're a handful of trouble, and <laughs> the and I don't really, you know, frankly, I don't really want formal Black October to feel like we owe them something. I want to take care of our problem mm-hmm. ourselves. Yeah, that's kind of my, oh. my take. Cool. Yeah, I, I think kind of got Grandpa Xenophon their... definitely agrees. Yeah, I just got a dose of their their kind of <laughs> loyalties, and I'm and I, as you may recall, last session I kind of had a little jolt that I realized how much I drifted away from their hero worship of their founder and stuff like that, and I'm feeling a little squicky about you know inviting them in on something. I feel like I'm inviting him in too, and that you know you get the idea. All right. Well, I didn't have okay. anything uh, I wanted to do, so I'm ready just to jump on in. And... Okay. Um, the water circuit. 
Um, yeah, I, are we clear clear to my head? Are we going there to meet uh, Lucy, or are we, um, or was that something else? No, that's something else. Well, there were, yeah, there were, no, yeah, okay. th there were three um, uh, Argentinian operatives that were sent here for you. Gotcha. Now, um, yeah, sorry. Now that's I've got the water it. circuit yeah. problem, and then there's the downtown problem when we're supposed to bring our our skeleton. Mm -hmm. Although I will yes, personally be yes, sad exactly. to see that. I will be sad to see that go out of our now. Place. Where, where did you guys keep the skeleton? Wasn't it? Uh, wasn't it like in a, a closet head. or something? Right. <laughs> he's on, he's on oh, my I want to sit at the dining room table. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so spear coming out of its chest. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> Pass the salt there. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so you guys head on down then, I assume, to the uh, Magic Water Circuit. Um, and yeah. um, like any other night, it's uh, very busy down here. There's people just enjoying the sights. Basically, you have, you know, this huge, essentially like just a uh, fountain park um, with lights that... Um, uh, uh, highlight, you know, the, the water ballet that's going on, and that is all overlooking the Pacific Ocean, which uh, you guys can see, uh, um, you know, from this vantage point. Um, wow. So the drones, I mean, the, the drone cinematography just kind of revels for a while, I imagine. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, there's all these uh, scintillating lights flashing off of water um, as you guys go down there uh, at night. There's tourists uh, down there enjoying uh, the scenery, uh, the place is lively. Um, out to sea, you guys can see like uh, the moon, you know, uh, reflecting off of uh, the Pacific Ocean. Now, the way uh, Lima is uh, situated, there's a precipitous drop off uh, of, of the coast. Uh, then uh, like the, there's the city. There's uh, kind of like a, a drop off or a cliff. And then there's a, a small beach. And then there's just nothing but ocean. Um, so it's almost like you guys are on... Well, yeah, I guess you guys, the, the, yeah, the, the, the city's kind of built like on a, a small cliff face. I mean, it's kind of cliffy, but not really. I mean, if you fell off of it, you'd just kind of tumble down it. But um, uh, that's what you guys see. I'm not sure if, well, we still have the pictures of uh, the links that yeah, I sent. Yeah, I think they were up in the Yeah, they're in place, the feed someplace. But anyway, so do you guys go down there uh, in all your regalia? Uh, 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 to bear, are you guys going down as... Uh, uh, civilians, how does this work out? I think yeah, for I don't think I have like an you No, know, Ditto doesn't count in this regard. I don't care what you, yeah. I don't care what Ditto yeah. wears. Everybody still says, "Wait, who is that?" So <laughs> exactly, um, yeah, I, yeah. I, but you and I, on the other hand, are pretty much you know fetishy mm -hmm. sorts of different stripes, but yeah, equally weird. I'll so, I'll be in a I'll be in a shirt and slacks. It won't you know a, a good you know nice suit, but not you know nothing nothing out of the ordinary. I think I'm not. I wouldn't be necessarily wearing any gear when I'm you know especially in a situation where we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. And, I'm only wondering yeah. if there's if it's possible to disguise our faces in some ways if we're expecting these people here because well, like they know what we look is, like. My outfit is fortunately fairly easily. Uh, yeah, it's it's except for the cape, it's pretty much just a matter of taking things off. So, um, oh, don't take off anything else. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so my uh, my plan is basically to be ready for action should I so choose. I mean, we could do the Chris Claremont thing where we do everything this particular issue. In our regular clothes, irritating the right, artists, clothes. no doubt. Yeah, I mean, but uh, no, those were always the good one when they'd go shopping or when they would. Uh... <laughs> John Byrne disagreed with you. Yeah, he hated it. Oh, he, he didn't like that. Oh, he hated it. He was like, "God damn it, yeah. Chris would just have them all sit around in the in the apartment sipping drinks all issue if it wasn't for me." Right. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's what, uh, what made it great when Fire Love was the show best up parts. And, like you know, Misty Knight would uh, they'd be over at Misty Knight's apartment or something. But anyway, we digress. Um, so you guys go down there, nondescript-ish, I guess. Um, yeah. Which one of you I'll has lend them the a highest... shirt. Uh, I'll, uh... <laughs> no, I've got a collared shirt. <laughs> you know, light, short-sleeve collared oh. shirt. I'm fitting in. Okay. Cool. Who has the highest perception here? I see that fear strike. 
I have a terrible. Pre- oh wait, no, I do. Even though it's and not very good. Book had That's a two. The, we're all really totally oblivious. Uh, here, hold on. I got to get my sheet. This is this is getting out of control here. Too many games. Right. My <laughs> perception is two. Um, skills wise, yeah. investigation is your... five. Is that what you're looking for, or intuition? Nah, just perception. Just perception. Yeah, just perception. Which one? You guys are way more perceptive. What's yours, Renee? Zero. Zero? Okay, so you have an average perception. So they uh, out uh, perceive you. Okay, so of uh, the two, uh, Fear Strike and Xenophon, which one of you wants this? I got something for you. <laughs> give it Give it to the kid. Well, we just so established kind of I, have the way actual, I have an actual role, <laughs> such as it may be. In the film, right. So, right. Yeah. It's right. Um, granddad. Okay. You know? Well, you guys all see uh, the three Argentinian operatives down there. There's oh, wow. one big. Um, awesome. Yeah, you see them. They're uh, down there. You see the uh, the bulky one, uh, really big Dora? guy. Um, yep. And uh, you see he's got some dogs with him. Funny enough, um, mm-hmm. um, the other two, um, you see like, like uh, a couple that look like they are a couple. All of them are dressed casually as if they are um, tourists here. And you see the one guy with the dogs by himself, and you see the other two um, as if they are a couple, you know, kind of seeing the sights. Um, but what Fear Strike sees is there's also a fourth one. Um, who looks um, uh, uh, less impressive because the other ones, they look uh, fit. They look capable. This one looks like um, they probably work in an office. It's a woman. Um, However, she uh, occasionally, like, you know, they will all kind of like circle and do like a circuit in this place. And then when they go past her, she will speak to them. Yeah, Um, she's the boss, obviously. Right. Um, so you see uh, her, and um, she looks a little beleaguered, um, but, you know, she doesn't look, like, super nervous. Like, she's like, Ugh. she just looks like, you know, she's got a lot more on her mind than the uh, other three do. Um, but, you know, you see the big guy, he's got these huge mastiffs with them. Um, um, the other two are just kind of, you know, walking around, taking pictures of the sites, uh, looking around. What would you guys like to do? Um, remind me, the couple was one. Uh, Dalantero uh, was the name of one of them, and Defensora was the other name that she had. So there was Duro, uh, Defensora, and uh, Delantero were the three. Right. Have... Ron, have you have you pointed out to us, as Fear Strike pointed out to us, that you've seen this extra body? <laughs> the lady. Yeah. Uh, Are you looking I'm, for I'm, your character I'm, sheet? I, I, yeah, I'm, no, I'm looking at my character sheet and thinking, and ah. I would very much like to completely not do what I should. Um, I would like to position myself so that I can talk to this person in something of a surprising way. And do I have it correct that I pick an attribute and I pick a skill because I know what I want to use? Um, yeah, that's the way uh, we uh, do it. Like you're trying to get up uh, close to her to speak to her? In a sort of a yep. boo way. So it's Yeah, not, that's just... A... Well, hold on, hold on. Movement and speed is what I had in mind because I'm not doing it by sneaking and hiding. I'm just getting right there. Okay. So, yeah, you just want to... So, it'd be a stealth roll. So, did you want to do it quickly, I guess? Or, well, I was hoping um, to use movement rather than stealth. Speed is... The okay, attribute. so then you're not, you're not sneaking. You're just being right. there abruptly. Then. That's what I'm trying to... Okay. That's precisely yeah. right. Yes. Okay, okay. So, so, yeah. Um, three plus... Use your movement four. and speed. Okay, so that's a seven. So, I roll these and add seven, correct? Uh, roll those and add seven, and let's see how uh, good you get. I get a nineteen, which 